Welcome back to my little channel. Now, we had a live hangout Wednesday. We always have a live hangout on Wednesday. And after we've spoken all we needed to say about the things we wanted to talk about, someone pointed out that um, Stephen Molyneux dropped another video on us. And I'm not a big fan of Stephen, nor am I against him. I like the idea of him being a liberal thinker. But maybe I should rephrase myself. Maybe I like the idea of people being liberal thinkers, whether I agree with them or not. But maybe I have a problem, especially after seeing this video, of seeing him as a liberal thinker and not an authoritarian one. Now, I've already opened the door by claiming how I perceive things. Let's see if you understand what I mean. And I'm going to start playing his video and I'll interrupt and say something and you know how it goes. Let me know what you think. Now, I won't show the video. Um, I don't really have a reason why not to, but it's easier for editing reasons. I won't lie. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. I do look forward to what you want me to think about or what you think I should have said or may have missed as always criticism is welcome like share and subscribe also very important i would like to see my channel grow so yeah feel free to help me out on this one and um stefan this is an open invitation i really would like to talk to you on this one because i've never seen you miss the mark by so much so to speak now, English isn't my first language, so maybe my metaphor isn't the most perfect one. I'll probably grant you that, though I think it fits. But yeah, no, I, I really would like to talk to you on this one, Stephen, uh, Stefan, sorry. Because I really think you went from free thinker to totalitarian in two minutes. Well, less. Because this is how you start. So the job of a doctor is to protect you from ill health. The job of a dentist is to protect your teeth. The job of a personal trainer is to protect you from weakness. And no, you're wrong. The job of a doctor is not to protect me from illness. It's to treat me when I'm ill and advise me what I can do to prevent becoming ill. But it's not his job to prevent me from coming ill, becoming ill. Nor is it the dentist's job to prevent me from having bad teeth. Now, if I have bad teeth, it would be nice of the dentist to help me. And of course, he's going to advise me to do certain things to prevent me from having bad teeth. But that's not his job. It's nice of him to want to help me. And it's nice of the doctor and the dentist to want to prevent me from getting sick. It's a different thing to claim that it's their job. Because job infers duty. And they don't have that duty. Nor do I have the duty to listen to them. I mean, I'm an arsehole if I don't, fair enough. But I have that choice. Don't forget, smoking is bad for your health. Most doctors will agree to that now. There was a time some doctors a lot of doctors didn't think smoking is bad for your health. Fair enough, shit happened. Alcohol is bad for your health. The United States tried this thing, um, it's what's called the prohibition. See how that worked out when you force people to obey certain behavioral laws. Rules, I wanted to say, but laws make more sense because they actually did have laws for it. This is the difference between totalitarian or authoritarian and in my humble opinion, liberal. Who is responsible for my life? Stefan, who is responsible for your life? If you will say anyone but me, then I don't see you as a liberal anymore. You cannot put the responsibility for your life into the hands of someone else. In the end, the responsibility lies squarely on your own shoulders or in my own shoulders in this case the doctor 
all the good intentions he may have is but a distraction now it might be a good distraction but it's but a distraction he does not tell me how to live my life he might advise me how to live my life and i might listen or i may choose not to that's the whole thing with being a liberal you are free to make up your own mind now this constitute that you have one or that you at least know how to think fair enough this is not always true with people but they do have that right to take away that right for whatever reason goes squarely against the concepts of being a liberal and i understand why you did this um stefan i i really do i understand the fear it, it, it grips us all i mean i know that this whole corona thing is to say the least slightly exaggerated or at least i think it is and i'm not a doctor i'm not a virologist but i have read several that are a lot of questions are out there on this coronavirus and and it's scary as shit but one of the main reasons it's scary as shit is because it's being propped up to be scary as shit because i have never seen a flu wave ever where we have a daily update about how many people are sick and how many people have died it never happened and in your video you talk about um, how it's unreasonable unfair to compare corona to the flu because in your humble opinion the flu is far less worse and you may be right the flu may be less worse but i would like to remind you that every year thousands upon thousand people in america in the free western world die of the common flu anyway the whole personal trainer thing yeah i'm going to let that slide that's just too silly go on though i'm sorry i'm i'm, I'm mowing the grass in front of your feet they say but my job as a moral philosopher is to protect you from something far more dangerous than all of these things combined, which is I must protect you from a bad conscience. And this shows how much you overestimate your value, your influence. I'm sorry, but protecting me from a bad conscience is not more important than protecting me from bad teeth. And where the dentist doesn't have the job to protect me, he has the job to treat me, you do not have the job, the duty, to protect me from a bad conscience. You might have the intention to protect me from a bad conscience. That doesn't make it your duty, that makes it your, at best, a moral obligation. It's something you want to do, fair enough. But again, this talks about you. It doesn't say anything about me. The doctor can talk to me all he wants, but it's not his job. Do you understand what your position is now? I know you can't respond to me now because you're in a video, but to pretend that what you say must be paramount for everyone else, put yourself on a pedestal. And as a liberal, I cannot understand why you would want to put yourself on a pedestal. But there is this saying, something about the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And I really don't want to see you fall, Stefan. I mean, obviously I don't always agree with you, but that doesn't mean I disagree with you. On this, however, I very much do. Because it has something inherently scary the attitudes you have i will continue with your video it becomes more clear as, as we get along now let me tell you what this means we are so incredibly interconnected in this modern social media world that everything you do everything you say has a huge impact and a huge influence on the world even if you don't post, even if you only post to a tiny number of people, you never know who you're talking to, who hears what you have to say, or hears it secondhand, and then amplifies it. Everything you say matters. And where I think you are somewhat correct in that, 
I also think you are completely overestimating the value of sending a message. In the end, it's not what I say or what you say that matters. It's what people do with that information. That is what truly matters. Now, we might want to influence people. You have a way larger audience than I do. And uh, I wish to be as influential as you from time to time. They're not just you. There are other YouTubers that I'm somewhat envious of. But that does not mean we stand above the other people. It does not mean we can talk down to them. And in all fairness, Stefan, that is what you're doing now. You're telling people that they should self-censor because what they say may influence other people. But isn't censorship something, as a liberal, we should say, nah, been there, done that, not worth a second try. It's um, somewhat worrying to me to see you go this way. But let me try to give you more room to explain your point. And it's obviously a pre-recorded video, so you're not going to say anything new. But um, yeah, go on. So over the past couple of months, if you have been rolling your eyes and saying, oh, it's just the flu and I can't believe people are being so paranoid and you should just get out there and don't let fear rule your life and mocking people who take personal precautions and protections, you have been facilitating the spread of a deadly disease. <sighs> okay, where do I begin? First off, I do believe it's not worse than the common flu. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't take precautions. There are always precautions to take. This is also true during a normal flu season. Once again, thousands of people die during the normal flu. To pretend that the normal flu is just something that passes by is, is equally heinous to my humble opinion. Yes, we should be careful in certain situations. But at the same time, to completely stop society the interaction of people because of an illness that may or may not be worse than the flu. And I'm saying even if it's as twice as bad as the common flu, which would mean that in the United States it would kill between 60 and 120,000 people, then it would be twice as bad. Well, 60 would still be within the flu's range. 60,000 people can die of the common flu. In America. So it has to be around 120,000. If Corona kills 120,000 people in America, yes, then it's twice as bad as the common flu. But um, even then, I'm going to say the responsibility lies with the person in itself. So yeah, it's wise to take precautions. Wash your hands. Hell, wear a face mask. Wear gloves. I don't care. Those are good things. But to sit at home, to self-quarantine, because it's the better thing to do, is um, it might be a good choice. Don't get me wrong. It might be a good choice. But it is still a choice. It becomes problematic when someone says, and this is how you are supposed to live. Remember the quote of the robber baron from... Uh, yeah, I can remember the name, but... but I will have the image on the screen by now. This is what it's all about. We have to be careful not to do unto the populace for their own good a limitation of movement, a limitation of rights, because it is for their own good. In all fairness, that was what the Communist Party was based on. That's what socialism is based on. Well, yeah, no, it's not nice for you, but believe you me, it's for your own good. It is a form of totalitarianism that I would never have expected to come out of a mouth of someone who claims to be a liberal. Now, I understand a lot of people being afraid. Hell, I'm one of the risk groups, so to speak. I have double problems. I mean, I have lung disease. I have immunity disease. Yeah, you know what? This could kill me, just like the common flu, by the way. But there's a good chance it will not. 
just like a common flu, by the way. But if I look at my mother, and she's a bit older than me, obviously, and she also was rather liberal, I always thought, but now she's completely okay with basically telling people to censor themselves and self-quarantine themselves by threat of law. And to me, any form of threat eliminates the self. So where I think it's a good idea for people to stay at home if they are in the risk factor group, uh, protect yourself. Sure, why not? Be a little bit more frugal when it comes to hygiene, stuff like that. Sure. But to force people. But you don't agree with me, right? You think forcing people is completely acceptable. That's why you bring this fear on people. And... I don't think it's a good idea. Now, I could play the rest. I mean, I will have a link to his video, obviously. You can check his own stuff. And maybe you think I'm wrong or I'm exaggerated. And I should have taken the full video of Stefan. I really should. But I think I've said everything I wanted to say. I've watched the video before already. I've said certain things out of sequence, so to speak so to speak but i said them already so it's a bit, little bit redundant to continue with the video as is and it's not an attack on stefan but it is to show the world that even people who consider themselves free thinkers are not immune to either fear or being authoritarian and this is the danger of authoritarianism, socialism, communism. There are other authoritarian systems. Obviously, there are. I mean, there are right-wing authoritarian systems as well. As soon as people find a way to say, this is for your own good, there literally is no end to how far they can go and how far the blame can go. Would he have said, people, please be careful out there, try to realize that this is terrible, um, show it some respect, be frugal about things, then I would have stood behind him. But that's not what he said. He says some people have the duty to protect you from being sick, from protect you from getting problems with your teeth from protecting you from feeling guilty out of all of the things protect you from feeling guilty i always lived by the rule that it's better to have mm, i need to rephrase that it's better to be sorry for something you did than to be sorry for something you didn't do because when you did something wrong you can always try to make it right but when you didn't do something yeah that opportunity may never return. I'd like to consider myself a thinker, and maybe that's me being an arsehole as well. But I do understand the difficulty that comes with trying to be a philosopher, of being a thinker. It means we also have to see our own fear and let it slide off of us. Let it not engulf us. And I fear, Stefan, you have succumbed to your fear. Makes you human, don't get me wrong, it's not an insult, it's not a bad thing. There will be times when I will succumb to my fear. Surely, we're all but human. But I do have to point this out, and I do hope... Listen, I'm more than willing to talk to you about this. I really am. Obviously, your, your, your channel is rather big, so the chance of you going aboard with someone like me might be a little bit small. But, hey, you know, just putting it out there, I'm not more than you are. I'm not a wiser man or a better philosopher. But every once in a while, we all need someone to push us back in line, so to speak. And if the line I want to be pushed in is the line of people who can think for themselves 
and not the line who will let fear rule their lives. Anyway, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the lovely bunny rabbits. It's an idea I'm having. I'm constantly trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my background. I'm, I'm, I'm really crap with that, I know. Suggestions in that are also more than welcome. I do want to see and grow my channel. Anyway, I hope to see you all next time.